Ben and I met, the, the true uh, start of it is that we met when we were three years old. And uh, I was in love with him, and he didn't love me back. <laughs> and, um, and then we met Nick when we were teenagers, um, met Noah um, when we were like in our early 20s, and um, all started collaborating. And we're just always very inspired by collectives like Christopher Guest uh, that came up together and just made shit with their friends. Um, so we made a short about five years ago, and then I've been trying to adapt it into something larger, and you know, it just is a long road. Um, but Noah and I worked with Jessica Elbaum on Booksmart, and she connected us with Picture Start, and we finally had a home for this very odd piece. Um, <laughs> and then we got to make it, which was a dream. We, like, you know, all, as, Molly said, like, know each other so well, have worked together for so long, for so many years. And so we were able to create this kind of, like, hybrid process a bit where we did create, like, a really clear outline. It's, like, very, um, you know, structured. And we knew sort of the purpose of every scene and would, like, kind of let that organically, you know, be found of, like, oh, what do you want to play or what's interesting here and what would, like, um, be fun to see these characters do. Uh, but making sure that once we actually came, it came time to shoot, we had, we like really knew what our story was. Um, but I think we were so excited about writing something that not only the three of them, but the whole cast would have a chance to really put their own stamp on and have ownership over on the day, um, which I'm sure you guys could speak to more why that felt important. I think it was a little bit like, you know, we'd take inspiration from shows like Curb that really, really carefully structure their you know, every scene is pretty much beaded out, and then they get to sort of just vibe and improv um, within the space. And uh, I think we very much wanted to make that happen for ourselves. And I think we achieved like a nice, healthy balance. We were calling it a scriptment, you know, half treatment, half script. I was just very intrigued by the whole process. I've never, uh, I've done a lot of improv stuff in shows before, but it's never really been a, I've never really worked off of a script or a structure quite like this. So it was it seemed just like a fun opportunity to really just play with it and also just being able to act with other people who are great at improv is is just really fun. Um so yeah, it was just I had a great time. I think they nailed the heart of it. Um and the jokes were it was very funny obviously reading it, but I think the heart was there and so from there, I just believed in all of, th these are my best friends, <laughs> so I believe in them anyways, but I believed in, in the script, I believed in the heart of, of the project. No, yeah, I think, like, my way into it was Molly, 100%, because she was the first um, of the four that I met and, like, became friends with, and um, when I, like, got, got, like, when they told me about it and I got the emails and stuff and I was, like, going through it, it was very kind of nebulous in this way that um, was really exciting. I think Molly's so funny and just so fun to like um, shit around with, <laughs> <laughs> take huge shits with. Um, so I was like, it, it was just like, yeah, the story was fun. It felt like there was a lot of room for it to like, I don't know. I think there is not as many opportunities in like film stuff to kind of organically find things together or like have happy accidents and you like kind of together collaborate and stumble upon something yeah. an idea you wouldn't have had if you just like did it one, one person on their own yeah <laughs> we start making out looking at me <laughs> i think it was also just like i was very drawn to the fact that i knew that they were the right people to be telling this story it's just like a world that they all come from and love and care very much about and like when it comes to a parody of something or i don't know if to call this a parody per se, but when you're kind of making fun of a world, it's important to also love that world in order to not come off as mean. Um, and it, it was clear that they just really, this was a world they really cared about and they were the right people to tell the story. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was incredibly daunting. Um, I don't, you know, we didn't, when we wrote it, we never, dreamed that we would have 19 days <laughs> that was just what we what we got and um, <laughs> um so we just needed to be prepared at every moment um 
and like sucking the juice out of every moment. And it's hard with improv because you want to have the time to find it, but we didn't have time. And so we had actors that knew that they only had a couple takes to, to feel as free as they could and they just jumped in so quickly. Um, but, and then there's four of us, so we just all like carried each other through it. But it was a marathon um, and, and we blacked out, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I do think those boundaries like really focused the process though. I think without those boundaries, without the like, walls around us in the 19 days and the, you know, as much as they felt like uh, things that, you know, made it harder for us. I think it also fed the process in a really nice way. Certainly. And I, and I would just add that we protected ourselves a lot with um, just somewhere always to begin in terms of scenes that were very story driven or needed to accomplish something character wise were almost entirely at least uh, written to begin with. And then um, as a really good jumping off point and also the four of us, along with our songwriter, um, Mark Sonnenblick, we all wrote uh, this uh, original musical that is at the end of the film. So the fact that we had something that we had um, structured so much that we knew we were headed towards at all times really helped the, f the, f the flexibility of the rest. That alone is an entire writing process. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was a, it was wonderful. It was so much fun. Mark is incredibly talented. Um, he worked on Spirited as well. Shortlisted for an Oscar. Yes, yes of course. Um, <laughs> and I think, you know, as Jimmy alluded to, we all love musical theater so deeply. And I think that... Um, it, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of, um, it, it's a really scary leap of faith as we've been discussing to do a film with so much freedom. And so I think it was something that we had such a clear vision for with the musical and so many clear references for um, and something we could really control. So it just felt like such a joy to, to fully realize it. And also, you know, as just theater nerds ourselves to, to have the opportunity to sort of write a micro musical is, is just a blessing. <laughs> and it was really a blast. And some of my favorite stuff is, is the musical. Well, I think this was very such an exciting process because we we all had such like truly an opportunity to wear uh, every possible hat at different moments, and it was a lot of work and and came about so beautifully organically. And so it's very exciting to like imagine all the different um, you know permutations that sort of had to be discovered through the process of making this movie. Uh, just to as you said, like make it in the nineteen days um, in terms of like writing and directing a musical with kids in the midst of it and um, and and yeah just like the the sort of um, fly by the seat of your pants nature of it so definitely all excited about that yeah I think you said it well I think it just <laughs> opened a lot of different types of doors for all for all of us and I think that this is very much the story and the piece that the four of us as a collective really wanted to tell so I think that there will be hopefully a lot of different combinations and permutations of us taking on different roles and different combinations of us and apart and together and I think it's hopefully a beautiful beginning for a lot of different um, headline things.